So if you've ever been driving your M365 scooter and you suddenly experience a big vibration from the motor when you're accelerating, it may well be that your Hall effect sensors have failed. So that seems to be the case in this scooter. So I've gone ahead and I've got some replacement sensors. They're not quite the same sensor. I've left the sensor number in the description, but I'm going to try to fit them and see how I go. So we've all probably taken apart our M365 um, front wheel hub assembly before um, when you're changing that awful tire, that's almost impossible to change. So I'm not going to go through that. But basically once the motor is off, all you need to do is undo the, the screws that are on it. And then you get some sort of suitable driver and you put it on the back side of the, um, the stator assembly and then you push the side of the motor down along with the tire. You don't need to take the tire off um, when you do replace these sensors. You just push down and then you get to the heart of it, which is the stator. And yeah, then you have to remove these sensors. So I'm going to unsolder them. I'll, I'll show you a close up of it and I'll show you how to get them out and me fitting them and hopefully it works. So if you've managed to get your stator apart and to this stage, you'll see that there are three Hall effect sensors that are on the side here. So these, if they're out of phase, it'll give you a horrible vibration um, through the scooter and that motor. So we just need to unsolder these joints on the back of it. We just need to unsolder those. And then we just need to pry these sensors out with a little tool. Um, they're not actually that too tight, these ones. And then when we put them in, I'm going to use a little bit of um, nail varnish, actually some clear nail varnish, varnish, just to stick them in and hold them in place and give them a bit of protection. So I've just heated up this oversized soldering iron and I'm going to try and loosen these up. So it's proving a little bit difficult to unsolder. So what I'm going to do is just chop them off. I'm just going to cut them off with some basic cutters and see how I go here. I'll just chop these off, leaving a bit of um, something to pull on. So just chop them off. And then at least I've got something and I can pull these out one at a time. Because that way I've still got a little bit of length. So, let's just try this far one here, see how I get on. So after lots of <coughs> messing around, we've got out these um, these hall sensors. I'm not going to try and take the solder off and put the new sensors through the same hole. It might just be too difficult. So what I'm going to do is put the sensors in with a bit of insulation and then wrap them around this board and then solder them on that way. Um, I'm also going to there was some glue as well that sort of insulated this board. I'm going to put this back on with some hot glue so that it holds the board down nicely. Um, but I think that's all I can think of really doing. I know it's not going to be perfect, but I mean, you can't get things perfect every time. So we need to insulate the legs of these um, small hall sensors so that they don't come into contact with anything. But I've decided to just use some old wire and I'm going to strip back a bit of wire and I'll use that um, to insulate the legs of these, um, these sensors. That should be just fine. So I don't know if you can see this, but um, yeah, I've put the sensor with some insulator on just from a, another wire. So they're all insulated and I'm going to do all of them. I thought I might do them some random colors and I'm also going to use a little bit of uh, nail varnish to glue these in. They can only go one way. Um, they've got a taper on them, so they only slit in one way. And I think it should be enough to hold it in, and then they'll just sit in there like that. 
and I'll fold down my board, do my soldering connections and that should be it. Okay. So I've just got a bit of clear nail varnish here and I've got one of my sensors. So I'm just going to brush the back of the sensor with a bit of this varnish, a bit on the top, sides, and then we will pop it in. So this one will be the green sensor. It's sitting there nice and snug. Oh, just jumped out. Oops, there it is, it's in now. <coughs> so I'm just gonna hot glue, ooh, that's some hot glue coming out already. I'm just gonna hot glue this back approximately where it was. And I don't really know any other way or what this does exactly, but I'm guessing it's possibly important. So it's going back on anyway. Well the hot glue didn't really work so I'm just going to continue on and use a bit of this marine sealant. It's possibly not ideal but and I don't know how important this piece is, this sort of insulation but you know it's going to have something on there at least. Um, and it's going to be in approximately the same position, so hopefully it helps. So eventually I put the adhesive on, but I decided to hold it in position while I was doing the soldering. I just added some just general electrical tape to hold it down and a bit of a crisscross pattern so I could avoid the uh, soldering connections that I was going to solder to. So I think that once it's all soldered on um, it should be fine. It should just stay in position. I don't, don't think it's very far for it to go anyway. Um, and um, yeah, we've got some we've got some varnish on here so that should at least stick those into position. So here we have the, <coughs> the finished product. It's not particularly clean, it's not particularly tidy, but it is there and yeah, we will see. Hopefully it works. So it's all finished now and it seems to be going. So those small Hall Effect sensors are something that's not too expensive and it's probably one of the few things that you can change inside your motor um, economically without replacing the entire motor so with all of that out of the way i think it's time to give it a quick test and see how it goes okay it's time for the big test tell me what you think lucas have a go on it well it seems to be working fine we've got one happy young customer <laughs> Hello, this scooter was very good, so please like and subscribe. In Japanese, how you say it is, this scooter is very good, so please like and subscribe. Bye!